Brenda's sitting right across from me there. Randy's got the evidence on his screen. Yep. He hands me a check for 200 bucks. I win. He's looking right at it. <laughs> yeah, man, he's right there. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking a look at that hey, some point. come on, man, that's private <laughs> stuff. Congratulations there, buds. Thank you. Did it again. I know you always had faith in me, oh, I appreciate it. Seeing you at work. The good news, my friend, keeps rolling in. I just put an offer in today on a condo. Harborfront, downtown. Oh. Yeah, I'm moving downtown, man. I'm getting out of it. Getting out. The um, guy wanted me to raise my bid, but uh, I know. I know his technique. He works off commission, too, right? Like yeah, right, 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 right. So, moving downtown, right? Just waiting for the telephone call, and huh. then it will be mine. So, I worked up the nerve and I called my dad. Oh, good for you. Yeah, it, it took me a couple tries, you know. Brenda, oh my god, she made me feel so guilty, the whole <laughs> Father's Day thing, yeah, so. she'll do that. Yeah, but you know what, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Good. Yeah. And it, it's been how long since you... Oh my god, like 15 years? 15 at least. years? Yeah. Well, we didn't talk about much, but... Yeah. Well, it's good that you got back in contact with him. I guess. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a great weekend. Yeah. Oh, God, I had the worst weekend on record. Oh, what happened? I've been starving myself thin for the last week or so, trying to lose weight for the wedding, oh. you know, dieting, dieting, you know, being hungry all the time, yeah. stomach's growling, got a headaches, and I broke down on Saturday. Oh, I'm a sorry. a huge bucket of fried chicken. I was drinking gravy from the bowl. You know it was around, right? Oh. You know if you've lost it when you're drinking gravy. Yeah, it can but... be stressful, this dieting. I'm on a diet. Too. Are you? So yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Well, I I'm, I'm trying to put weight on. You, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're, you're I'm putting... trying to put junk in my trunk. <laughs> it's not easy though, I swear. I've been trying to deep fry everything I can put my hands deep, on. Deep. You can deep fry vegetables, let me tell you. Oh. Carbs, sugar, candy, junk food. Candy. I've been stopping at all the drive throughs just trying to hey. stuff it, you know? It's not easy though. Hey, hey. Hi. Yeah, no, I'm just writing out the memo now for Human Resources. It may be perfect for you, you know, in between gigs. You just have to kind of make notes at meetings, um, collect some research and summarize it for me, look at past uh, drug launches and see how they were received by the press and the public and just kind of summarize and, and compile all the information. I think it's, it's so kind that you would ask me and, and, and think of me, but... Well, it's not a big deal. I mean, you just have to meet with human resources in front of a panel, do maybe one test case, and then you'd meet with me. And I mean, you can get the job for sure, but uh, I'm just saying it may, it may be good for, you know, being a musician. It's nice to have a day job, <laughs> isn't it? No. Uh, me and office jobs, it's just, whoa. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Come on, dig in. This is what the doctor ordered. Okay. This okay. pizza, my friends, was free. Free of charge. Had a little party at work today. Had way too much pizza left over, so I snagged the large. I'm taking two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go for it. Cool. Randy. Sure. What's the matter with you? I'm on a diet. I can't. On a diet? What are those Cheetos? Put those on here. Oh. You know, that's that's great, man. You know, you'll feel better. You really will. And you'll look better. I think it's great. You know, it's amazing what you can do with these diets. Mm -hmm. Like, never mind, you know that extreme makeover show? I mean, right. not a diet, but you know, people making over themselves to look mm -hmm. better or whatever. Yeah. It's amazing what they can do. Some people get like a four combo package, like 
See, boobs. I think that's a bit much. It's my, I know. No. Get the boobs done, the butt, the lips, the hips, the lipo. No, you don't need lipo, you know, you know. It's just so expensive. I mean, I think you can do it with the carrots, man. Are those carrots sweet? Okay, it's got wooden floors, 11 foot high ceilings in the living room, 9 feet high in the bedroom. Okay, on the fourth floor, there's this room with all yeah. these leather couches and you got your own movie theater. You movie theater? Oh, yeah. Geez, you never have to leave the house there, buds. No, man, world at your fingertips. Oh yeah, well hey, you know, if Mother Nature wanted us to live in the sky, she would have given us wings. Okay, then why did Mother Nature allow us to build aeroplanes? Devil's work. Aeroplanes are the devil's work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is uh, Burlington not good enough for you now? Huh? It's not. It's never been, okay? Look, I used to live downtown and then I had to move back out there. I mean, you know, what? Look, it's fine for you, okay? Yeah. You, you, you know, you're done. You got kids. Done. You're oh, married. Jesus Christ. No, you need a place where you put can me put in a them coffin all. now. Jeez. No, I mean, you know, that that's it's right for someone like you. But for someone like me, I need to be where the action is, okay? I can stumble home from work if I meet a girl. Okay. Let's go back to my place. Where is it? Burlington. That's like saying Mars, outer space. You hey, know what I mean? Hey, the only women in Toronto are, are pretty much hookers. All right, downtown you got crime, you got hookers, hook, hookers butts. Maybe that suits you better though. What are you talking hey, about? Hey, get one of them pregnant, bring them home to Burlington. You know what I'm saying? Start a family. There's lots of ex-hookers out there. <laughs> are you for real, man? Like, what are you talking about? I don't know. You ever been downtown? I, I mean, do you just look at women from a, the top of your damn construction crane Christ, or what? I work there just about every day. Yeah, hookers, hookers, hookers. Yeah, she's actually my cousin, Robin. Anyway, she did her degree in business, oh, and uh, she's going for her MBA next year. She worked at the hotel last summer, but I can't get her job this summer because the tour yeah. tourism industry is... Yeah, go figure. Yeah. Okay, okay. well, I'll have to speak to her. Great. 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 So, yeah. What did, she, what did she do for you last summer? Like, just sales and... In the hotel? Yeah. Oh, no, she was a hostess in the restaurant. Oh, we get a We get a lot of... People coming there through must in the be summer. A lot of that. I mean, students must be slammed this summer. Not oh, it's a mess, and, and, it, and it keeps getting worse. Now the uh, is it the American Humane Society has launched this campaign against, like, for people to boycott coming to Canada because of all the seal hunting, the baby seals that are, you know, being killed. Yeah, in Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. Don't That's... climb the CN Tower because. It's, it's no way. It's unbelievable. Oh, and They've this been is the best. They've killing baby seals since when? The 80s. 1987. There was a law that they passed. It's unbelievable, and their their ad campaign is. How this. can they do that? It says. Oh, Canada, how could you? Yeah, because their environmental uh, record is so pristine. How oh, exactly. could they? That's ridiculous. It's unbelievable to me. You know what I mean? It just... and I, To me, the thing is, I honestly believe this, that if we would have backed the U.S. in the Iraq uh -oh, War... Uh-oh, conspiracy theory. I'm it's true. You. I'm with everything you. Everything would have been handled... Well, I think, honestly, I think SARS would have been handled differently in the media. Everything like, what, Mad Cow? Mad yeah. Cow? Uh, Monkey Pox? Come on. It's going to go on and on. The list on. is get Yeah. It's... Wow. Let's think oh, about Canada, it. Let's think about how it. could you? Yeah, that's great. Hey, uh, sorry, this is just, this is personal stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> what, are you sure you don't want a slice, man? No, I can't, I can't. I can only eat 2,400 calories per day. That's 800 calories per meal. That's like 1,000 carrots. Or like I could sniff your pizza. So. You could have like <laughs> half a slice. No, I can't. You know what, Randy? I hope you're doing this for yourself, huh? Hope your fiance is not trying to change you. No, oh, no, just mm -hmm. I want to be thin, and she's gonna love it. Yeah, there you go. Whatever. Yeah, she's she's gonna mean, think you look great. Thank as you very long, much. As long as she appreciates you now. And she does. She's very, very proud. Of I us. hope so because you know this trying to change my man type of thing. It doesn't work. Especially down the road, it's all fun now, but mm, watch out. I don't know. You're gonna feel great about it, and you're a better man than I. I can't resist this extra cheese, this pepperoni. I gotta have another slice. I'm about ready for my third. Yeah. Man. Dig in. No, I'm good. Randy. No, I'm good. It's only hot for so long. Good for you. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. 
so I'm uh, doing some work for my buddy down in the lumber yard. Right. I go to I go to pick up my cash a couple days later, and he's gone bankrupt. He's gone under. He's a buddy of mine, though. You know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to say You're going to take him to a small claims court. No, I don't need to. He's paying me. He is paying me in sheds. What? He's paying me with sheds. Sheds. Garden sheds? Yeah, he's, he's giving me 10 garden sheds. Instead of cash? Instead of cash. Oh, it's great. It's fine. Man can, man can never have too what many sheds. What are you going to do with 10 garden sheds? You don't even have oh, room for them. Right. It's no problem. I'll put a bunch in the back, put one on the side, put one on the front, you know? I'm going to I'm gonna use one for, uh, for my fish and stuff, right? One's going to be an ice fishing shack, right? One's going to be a place for the girls to play. One's gonna be a drinking shed, all right. One's gonna be uh, one's gonna be a place for uh, for me and the wife to be together when uh, when the girls are home. Okay, okay. One's gonna be a place to smoke meat, smoke some fish, and smoke uh, smoke pig and stuff like that. One's gonna be uh, a place for just quiet contemplation, a place where I can just go and just air all around me. Right? Why don't you sell one of those to try to make some money back? Hey, you wanna buy? What? No, I don't want to buy them. I live in a condo. What am I going to do with the garden shed in my living room? Well, that's for you to decide. Hookers? Put your hooks, hookers in it? Yeah, extra hook. I'm kidding, Pete. Wow. I mean, she's 22 and she wants to spend her summer in an office? Yeah. Come on, Dana, she's a totally cool chick. I mean, this girl is so focused, she is so smart. She's the, the smartest 22-year-old I've ever met. Mm, sounds like hey, it, yeah. on the flip side. <laughs> Except to you, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> she loves to shop, this girl. She's a shopaholic. Right, her, her so goal need... in life is to make money, is to make a lot of money. Yeah, and you need a good, good solid job to do that, and she'll, she'll make it. She could make a lot of money doing this kind of intern work this summer. Yeah, but money is one thing, right? The way I look at it is, okay, what are you working off? It's like eight to ten hours a day, right? Yeah. You're doing that five days a week. That's like a third of your life that you're never going to get back. Yeah, but she, it's business can be very challenging and exciting. You know, well, all the deals you're making and you're meeting great people. Well, if that's if you like what you're doing, but I swear, if you took a poll of most of the people that are here, I, I bet they hate what they do. Yeah, but they didn't know what they wanted to do with the in the beginning anyway. I mean, this girl, Robin, sounds like she knows exactly what she wants to do. She knows exactly do. what she wants to do. I still don't know what I want to do. Well, you know what? I meet people, like, every day that are like, wow, you're a musician? Wow. You know what? When I grew up, I really wanted to be an actor, but, you know, I started working at this and that company, and, you know, now I'm, like, 45 years old. I don't want to ever look on my, by yeah, my life and yeah, say, yeah. what if? No, but I think that's a question of personality. Like, lots of people wanted to be in drama and music, but some personalities just can't stand the financial insecurity. Like, I just wouldn't be able to stand it. I'm going to work, I'm going to retire early, and then I'm going to... I don't know, open an antique store or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's whether you can travel, take the risk, do what I right? want to do. Whether you're willing to take the risk. That's what yeah. it comes down to. And I get pretty jazzed at all the stuff I do at work. Well, good on you. Yeah, I mean, and you wear as much of a uniform as I do, I'll tell you that much. If you wore a suit to work, they'd look at you just as funny as if I was wearing that. So there's not as much freedom as you think. I'm thinking about keeping one of the sheds for uh, for when Crystal moves out, put her in there for her first apartment, you know? Keep an eye on her that way. Yeah, and charge your rent, too. Oh, exactly. You know what exactly. you should do? You should take these 10 sheds and have them uh, ecologically approved by the government, and they'll mm -hmm. give you a thousand bucks a unit. They'll give you a thousand bucks? Yeah, it's this new thing they're doing. It's a complete waste of money. And you know what else they're going to do? They're going to spend like $10 million on an advertising campaign, yeah. right? Telling people that they should turn their lights off at night. Hey, anything, anything that's gonna keep uh, keep nature's creatures happy, it's fine by me, Buzz. It's a complete waste of money. You're gonna pay some advertising company that Jean Chrétien's buddies with or something like that to, to, to go and, and make some commercials telling people to turn off the lights is ridiculous. As long as there's a bass that's gonna rise to the hula popper, you know what I'm saying? Slam. I'll do it. You fish? No. So, Zach? How's Dana? I don't know. What, you guys still aren't speaking, or...? No. <laughs> Why would I talk to her? Look, I just... I don't know. It would be a shame to think that you'd miss out on what could, you know, very well be a meaningful friendship with someone just because things didn't work out exactly the way you expected. An awkward friendship, okay? Awkward. Hey! Hey Dana, remember when you uh, when you turned me down? Remember how completely and totally embarrassing that was? No, I don't think so. 
it would just be, it would just be weird, that's all. Okay, Thin Lizzy, right? Yes. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak somewhere in this town. Oh, I wonder where the jailbreak's gonna be. In BC. Eh? Agassiz, BC, there was this, there was this prison riot. It wasn't a jailbreak, it was a prison riot. Oh, all right. Guy got stabbed. Seriously, eh? Yeah, yeah, man, like, like Cage Shanks. Shanks. You got shanked, eh? Shawshank Redemption, baby. Boom. I hear they were hopped up on moonshine, too, eh? Yeah, man. They were drunk. Who was making the moonshine? He must have been king in there. Yeah. It was a riot, but it wasn't a quiet riot. Huh? Come on, feel the noise. Girls, rock your boys. Remember that one? <laughs> so you'll be able to help Robin out? Done. Great. Have her call me. Ah, talk about conspiracy theories. Here's one for you, Dana. <laughs> this Dar Hetherington thing. Oh, so that's weird. Yeah, weird. The press, public opinion, and two police stations, in forces, two, in two different countries, two different countries, have all conspired against her. I totally believe her. What? Look, why would any woman lie about being raped four times? Why would any police force not believe her? Come on, seriously. She wrote, she wrote her own stalker letters. Yeah, she already admitted to lying, though. She's already been caught in a lie. Yeah. No, okay, but she said that she was being stalked, right? You know, and the only reason that she wrote the letters to herself was, you know, to be able to hand the police and go, okay, this is something. There's no stalking laws in Canada. That's yeah. the problem. They don't do anything unless something's already happened to you. Well, something already did happen to her. Yes, like... <laughs> Either way, you know what? Either way. If it did happen, she's a mess. If it didn't happen and she's lying about it, she's a mess. Hello. Haha, <laughs> Larry, how are you? Good. So? What? What are you talking about? Look. Okay, I hire you to do this job. You, you had com Okay, you know what? Fine. Stay in touch. God damn. I lost the condo, okay? I was outbid. Hmm. You know, this guy's a complete scam artist. You know what I mean? He was probably repping the other person too at the same time, trying to get us to compete in price. God! Well, didn't he tell you that you should bid higher? Yeah, exactly. He did, okay? But that's because, you know, he's a crook. You know, I work off commission too, okay? I know how it works, all right? Scam artist. Hey, every cloud has a silver lining, though, Pete. Yeah, what's that? You can buy a shed now. What? Look, we can't be friends if every time I see her, I think about how I put myself on the line and how oh, she turned me down. Come on, you're the only one thinking about all of these things, huh? It's your ego. As a matter of fact, you're still humiliated. Honey, listen, humiliation is a part of life. Huh. And okay. I'm living life large. <laughs> humiliation sucks. Look, right? it's not the point. Guys and girls can't be friends anyways. Mm. That is so not true. Y you're, really? you're talking like such a guy. Do you hear yourself? Guys and girls can't be friends. Some of the best friendships are platonic friendships. <laughs> Nothing expected. Just learn no. and grow from each, you know, grow together. As long as sexual tension exists there. As soon as that's relieved, the friendship's over. Really? Mm -hmm. So answer this. What? If guys and girls can't be friends, why are you two sitting here with me? Okay, I'm gonna call up Larry and I'm gonna get back on the horse. I don't care, you know the condo market? There's still opportunities, so, you know. Watch out, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. All right. Yeah, Burlington may not be the armpit of Canada, but I can sure smell it from there. Yeah, you can smell Toronto. Burlington ain't in the armpit, but it's a nipple. You know, you, over you know what I can't wait for either? No more cats, okay? No, no more cat God, problems. Still on a boat, that? You know, there's someone driving around my neighborhood at night leaving this cat food up. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna set up a camera and my traps arrive next week, okay? That I ordered over the internet. I'm gonna have raccoon traps set up. Kitty cats come in, right. slam, I got them. Humane Society, hello! Well, where are you gonna keep the cats once you catch them? I don't know, I'll put them in my basement or something. You need a shed, young man. 
What you need is a new shed, courtesy of McLaughlin here. You want one? I'll sell you one. How much? Huh? How much? 200 bucks. 150. 250. 175? 500 dollars. 195. All right. Great. Hey, you're good at this. Randy, here is to your willpower, man. Unbelievable. You know what? Yeah, I agree. I'm really impressed. You're huh? so, like, goal-oriented. You huh? know, it's not easy. Motivation, you know? You know, sticking to this diet thing. There are a lot of people out there that can't stick to a diet for more than a week. Most people, exactly. You gotta be motivated. Mm -hmm. You gotta be dedicated. Determined. Determined. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm impressed. You know, you're helping me. Maybe I'll stick to you mine. You know, I knew you could do it, but ultimately... It's just... That you. Hey, one slice isn't gonna kill you, right? Yeah, you'll make up for it tomorrow, right? Can't talk, eating. <laughs> oh man, you got it. Extension four three four three. Okay, yeah, just give her a call tomorrow. No problem. Yeah, she'll be a great boss. Okay, Robin. Ciao. Who will be a great boss? I'll be a great boss. You'll be a great boss. What do you mean? What, you gave her the job already? I thought you gave her the job. No, I didn't give her the job. I gave her an interview for the job. I gave her a meeting with Human Resources. I didn't give her the job. I, I thought you said you'd help her out. I am helping her out. I'm going to look at her resume and pass it around. I mean, okay. I haven't even met her yet. Okay, I've got sorry. Can I've got candidates lined up for this job. Sorry, my misunderstanding. Okay, no problem. She sounds like a great young woman, yeah, and is. I would love to meet with her. So Okay, well, sorry. Well, I thought no. you were the boss. No. Well, well, I am the boss, but well, so you can hire anyone you want. Well, y yeah.